Hello, and welcome to the Hawkridge Systems Video Knockout Series for SOLIDWORKS Composer. This is video three, going over assembly manuals. All right, we have three minutes on the clock. Let's kick this off with the most common workflow that is being practiced today for creating technical documentation. First, we start off with the CAD models. Once the design is complete, then configurations, screenshots, lengthy renderings, and perhaps even photographs have to be taken. Once all the data is compiled, then it's brought into a program such as Microsoft Word. Now, if there's an engineering change, we have to edit the CAD models, recreate or modify the configurations, retake screenshots and photographs. And now here comes the fun part. Those images in Word have to be individually manually updated with the new images. Once the manual has been updated, then it's typically saved out as a PDF for the controlled document. Now let's talk about the Composer solution. The process follows a similar process to the current one, but with a whole lot more automation. The process starts out the same. The CAD models are created, but then brought into Composer, where all the steps of the process, marketing images, technical illustrations, and animations are created. Composer then saves all the images into a directory that Word is actually linking to. The images are not embedded. They are linked, so once the CAD update is made, Composer is updated, all the images are exported out with a single command, and the Word document is automatically updated. Then the PDF is saved out for the control documentation. This new process is typically 70% faster, freeing up time to work on other projects. All right, let's jump into Composer and show how this is done. Here I have an exploded view. By simply clicking on parts and telling them to go home, they automatically animate to where they belong. Now this location is driven by the CAD model and can be adjusted in Composer. By simply telling parts where to go and recording that steps with the click of a button, I mean assembly operations are created faster and easier than ever before. The power of SOLIDWORKS Composer comes from the ease of use and the ability to mass publish images with a single command. Here I'm using Microsoft Word to link to the images that are being pushed out from our Composer project. With the ability to link and not embed, this retains the associative link back to our original CAD models. All right, now let's make a design change. Here I'm making a simple color change to demonstrate how our end documentation will automatically update with the changes made. It really is that simple. By simply reopening the Word document or telling the links to update, our final documentation has been updated with our design change. Keep in mind this process has eliminated the need for lengthy renderings, screenshots, complicated configurations, taking photos, having to edit older photos, or even replacing the images in Word. This process has been automated and most importantly, associative back to the original CAD models.